June 5, 2024. NASA's Space Center witnessed the launch of a groundbreaking spacecraft. At the helm was Indian origin American astronaut Sunita Williams, accompanied by mission commander Barry Butch Wilmore. Their mission is to spend eight days aboard the International Space Station ISS. But now, more than 26 days later, they remain stranded in space, awaiting rescue. The mission, part of a joint venture between Boeing and NASA, aimed to test the capabilities of the new Starliner capsule. This was the first manned trial flight, designed to transport astronauts to and from the ISS. The stakes were high, but the promise was even higher a new era of space travel. As the days passed, unexpected technical problems surfaced. Reports indicated multiple issues, including the leakage of helium gas from five different points. Helium, crucial for the propulsion system, was leaking continuously, jeopardizing the structural integrity of the spacecraft. Um, so after testing all eight of uh, Star Starliner's helium manifolds, uh, we found the leak was isolated to one flange and one of the spacecraft's 28 RCS thrusters, or reaction control system thrusters, um, which um, are used basically to make small adjustments while we're on orbit in the, with, for the vehicle. And even more specifically, uh, um, it was in it was on a seal and it was very tiny in size, about the size of uh, the button on a man's dress shirt. Um, and also, I want to note that helium is not combustible or toxic. Um, but overnight, uh, we're going to keep uh, the top one and port one closed, and they will open port two. Um, that will give the teams the ability to manage the spacecraft. Um, we do have confirmation from our engineering support teammates at Boeing that the helium system remains safe for flight. Um, this was not unexpected, and we plan for cases like this. Um, the team will be working to make sure that we're in a good config configuration to complete for uh, to complete our mission, um, which is docking and rendezvousing with the ISS. The Starliner experienced five separate thruster failures. Thrusters are vital for maneuvering and speed adjustments. Despite the pre-launch detection of a small helium leak in the service module's thruster, it was deemed safe. However, the reality proved otherwise. The Starliner had a history of issues. The first orbital flight test in December 2019 failed due to software errors, causing it to miss its intended orbit and dock. A second unmanned flight in April 2020 faced delays and technical glitches. Even with these setbacks, the manned flight was greenlit, risking the lives of astronauts. Get on board. We got Rosie, the, the mannequin inside that uh, is instrumented, and so we're, we're going to get some data to see what our ride's going to be like when Josh and I actually get to fly on this thing um, probably at the end of next year. Great. And Josh, what's your role in this? Uh, to not mess anything up is the, is the goal today. <laughs> um, this is the capsule that uh, Sonny and I are going to have a chance to uh, fly in, uh, along with two others. And so we're following the whole process uh, from beginning to end. Uh, you know, from launch tomorrow morning to docking the next day and to landing a week and a half later. For me, it's just a, a situation where I find myself pinching myself. It's just, uh, it's incredible to see this happen. We're living science fiction. It's, it's really happening right here. As the return date of June 13th approached, the situation worsened. Technical problems prevented the spacecraft from undocking. NASA and Boeing engineers worked tirelessly to identify and rectify the issues, but the solutions remained elusive. So this giant manifold here is part of our acoustic suppression system. It's going to spray water. The helium leaks compromised the propulsion system, vital for maintaining the spacecraft's structural integrity during flight. Additionally, the reaction control system faced failures, affecting fuel management and potentially causing severe risks during re-entry. Sunny and I both have done some manual maneuvering, and it is pretty 
precise, much more so even than the simulator. I mean, stopping exactly on a number you want to stop on, the precision is pretty amazing. And it is just uh, an amazing, amazing uh, spacecraft put together. Boeing's done a, a magnificent job. Multiple solutions were considered to rescue the stranded astronauts. Options ranged from sending a Dragon 2 capsule, enlisting Russia's Soyuz spacecraft, or even seeking help from China with their Shenzhou spacecraft. Each option presented its own set of challenges and time constraints. One plan involved sending Dragon 2 with additional engineers to either repair the Starliner or bring the astronauts back safely. Another option was deploying Russia's Soyuz, a reliable escape vehicle always docked at the ISS. The third, albeit unlikely, option was seeking assistance from China's space program. Despite the technical setbacks, NASA assured that Sunita Williams and Barry Wilmore were safe aboard the ISS. The space station, capable of docking multiple spacecraft, had sufficient resources to sustain the astronauts for extended periods. Uh, activating uh, translational hand controller impulse mode. Uh, copy, and uh, we recommend that you continue to um, close in towards the station at a rate of 0 decimal zero 02. Copy. The target is centered. The ISS, equipped to host up to eight spacecraft at a time, provided a safe environment for the astronauts. Standing by for contact and capture. Contact confirmed. And capture confirmed. Confirming the SCAR mode. Docking confirmed at 8.04 a.m. Central Time, 9.04 a.m. Eastern Time. As the International Space Station flew 260 miles just to the west of Osaka, Japan. NASA and Boeing engineers continued to work on fixing the Starliner ensuring that every step was taken to secure the astronauts' safe return. Space travel has always been fraught with risks. This mission, despite its challenges, exemplifies the resilience and dedication of those involved. The future of space exploration hinges on learning from these experiences, ensuring that each mission is safer and more reliable than the last. The story of Sunita Williams and Barry Wilmore is a testament to human perseverance and the unyielding spirit of exploration. As we continue to reach for the stars, we must remember the lessons learned, ensuring that our journey forward is as safe as it is adventurous.